Hello friends, this video is the continuation on terms of trade. We will start by learning the income terms of trade. The income terms of trade is given as Px upon Pm into Qx. As in the numerator, the prices of exports are multiplied by the quantity of exports, it showcases the total value of exports. And this total value is divided by the import price index. This tells us for every one unit of prices we pay for our imports, how much value do we get for our exports. The idea is that we need to have the value of exports being equal to the value of imports at the end. Hence, by constructing the index this way, we come to know the quantity of imports one needs to do to have the value of exports and imports equal to each other. Like the commodity terms of trade, even the income terms of trade is not able to capture a country's capacity to import. The country's capacity to import is not just influenced by the amount of goods it exports, but also with the amount of foreign exchange receipts it has. So, at any given point, a country whose exports have deteriorated but has a higher foreign exchange receipts will actually have a better terms of trade. The other kinds of terms of trade are the single factorial and the double factorial terms of trade. Both the indexes capture the productivity aspect of the country. The single factorial terms of trade is given as the net barter terms of trade multiplied by the country's productivity index. Whereas the double factorial terms of trade is given as the net barter terms of trade multiplied by the productivity index of the exporting nation divided by the productivity index of the importing nation. An increase in the single factorial terms of trade indicates that a country is able to import greater quantity of goods per unit than the factor inputs it has used in the production of all the exportables. Now I do understand that this would be not as intuitive, but just understand that the construction of the productivity index is done in such a way that every time a country increases its efficiency in its production, the productivity index, in our case Zx, will go up. Hence, an increase in single factorial terms of trade is favorable. Similarly, the double factorial terms of trade is given as prices of exports divided by prices of imports multiplied by Zx upon Zm. Here, Zm is the productivity index of the country you are importing from. Again, the idea remains the same. As a country, you wouldn't want Zm to overpower Zx. Or else, you would see that as a home country, your terms of trade would deteriorate. So, an increase in double factorial terms of trade is favorable. Last but not the least, we have the utility terms of trade. At the end of the day, it is the utility from the imports that we do which matters a lot. The utility terms of trade 
is given as the net barter terms of trade multiplied by the ratio of productivity indexes multiplied by the ratio of the utility index. The ratio of the indexes of utilities help us understand the disutility from the exports and the utility gains that one has from imports. Just by looking at this index, one can see that it should be very very difficult for any country to calculate their utility indexes. That serves as a major criticism to utility terms of trade. These were certain terms of trade indexes. That's it from this video. See you in the next one.